Use your loaf and watch the following video in which I talk about the Khan Loaf Scout while delivering way too many bread puns. <laughs> Honestly, this is terrible. I know some of you have been asking for a video about the Khan Loaf for some time. So, bready or not, here I crumb. It's time for me to rise to the occasion and deliver a light, soft, but not too doughy take on one of the weirder looking scouts in SnowRunner. Weird because it reminds me of the Scooby-Doo van, except you won't find the partially literate dog in the back. Nope, the inside of the van is unknown, although I'd guess there's a can of iron brew, other drinks are available, and the corpse of anyone who asked the console mod's release date. This mystery will be the yeast of your problems though, because the Khan loaf really feels the need to tip over at any opportunity. Two bread puns there. Just like how cables mysteriously tangle themselves the moment you look away, the loaf will sabotage your day if you even blink. Should you manage to keep it upright, you legend, the loaf feels decidedly half-baked. It has small mud tyres, which is a good thing, except they are too small to make good progress in mud. Ground clearance is limited too, so some terrain will be an issue. Then there's the engine, which, like the relation who always buys you socks at Christmas, means well. But its performance is less posh hotel club sandwich, and more roadside service station cafe stale fest. And now it's time for the bad stuff. Just kidding. When it comes to utility, the Khan loaf is top crust. If you can cope with the fact that any more weight makes it more tippy. Slap on the SnowRunner gearbox, raised suspension, 33 inch mud tyres or off-road tyres, autonomous scout, you'll need it, and it becomes an exploration breadwinner. Even better, the Khan loaf is one of the only trucks that will stick to the bottom of a lake, which means its chimney snorkels, of which there are two, really do come in handy. As many of you will remember, this was one of the only scouts to survive my ultimate wet challenge. <laughs> that sounds odd. Not only that, there's at least a baker's dozen of aesthetic options, including a roof ladder, which is useless because you'll be upside down most of the time, Khan factory sun visor, and even an air conditioner to keep the iron brew cold, and the corpses. You can even slap on some meaty bumpers. To warn other rude users, this loaf mobile means business. Then paint it in some dual tone colour schemes, or a special DLC one if you have the season pass. It's loud and cool, that's all you need to know. Now I know I've been a bit of a Debbie Downer so far, but what I like about SnowRunner is that most trucks have a unique personality, and the Khan Loafs is one of the best. It's the truck that scampers about like an excited puppy, eager to get your attention. The enthusiasm is infectious, and so you end up driving it more than you should, and inevitably you learn that, in the right hands at least, it doesn't necessarily crumble at the site of a challenge. Sure, it can go awry and end up toast, but the experience is never stale, and it can save you in a loaf or death situation. Oh wow. <laughs> Why are you still listening? What I'm trying to say is that despite being one of the weaker scout trucks, I love the loaf, and you should too. But not enough to have 10 of them, that's just ridiculous. You should also comment any bread puns, bread jokes, or bread facts in the comments, because lockdown is dull. So yeah, entertain away. As usual, I hope you enjoyed this video. Undoubtedly, it was an experience you will never forget. Last pun, I promise. Subscribe and like unless you are gluten intolerant. I shall see you in the next video. Take care, right? Okay, I lied. <laughs>